Good afternoon. This is Chairwoman Nikita Scott. I call to order the meeting of the Board of Education of Baltimore County for Tuesday, May 4th, 2021. At this time, Baltimore County Public Schools and offices are closed to the public in order to maintain the health and safety of our students and staff. This evening's hybrid Board of Education meeting is being held both virtually and in person by board members and broadcast through Microsoft Teams Live and on BCPS TV, Comcast Xfinity Channel 73, Verizon Files Channel 34. In order to efficiently conduct this meeting, all voting items this evening will be done by roll call vote. Board members will say their names before making and seconding a motion, as well as when requesting discussion on an agenda item. May I have a motion to go into closed session as permitted by the Open Meetings Act, as found in the Annotated Code of Maryland, General Provisions Article 3-305, B1 and B821 discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom it has jurisdiction or any other personal matter that affects one or more specific individuals and consult with staff, consultants, or other individuals about pending or potential litigation. So, so move, move Mac. Thank you. Is there a second? Second, Mac. <laughs> okay, I think it was um, moved by Ms. Hen and seconded by Ms. Mac. Okay. Uh, May I confirm uh, uh, seven votes, please? May I have a roll call vote? Ms. Gover, please. Madam Chair, I had already put in the chat that uh, I have a motion. I move, this is Ms. Causey. I move the board as uh, 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 sorry. sorry, Ms. Causey, one moment. We're getting some feedback, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, Ms. Causey. We, we were getting some feedback here, so um, we weren't able to hear you. Um, if you wouldn't mind, could you start over again, please? <laughs> Certainly, Madam Chair. Uh, Good evening, everyone. And I had uh, sent this earlier and put it in the chat. I move the board add the following items to the current closed agenda for this evening's closed meeting. Nine, conduct collective bargaining negotiations or consider matters that relate to the negotiations. And board 15, board discuss us. cybersecurity. We haven't even started the meeting yet. We haven't taken a vote to establish a quorum. We cannot add something to the agenda. Mr. Mercedes, if you could please weigh on on that. Is this uh, motion out of order? The motion is not out of order. Okay. All right, go ahead, Ms. Causey, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. I move the board add the following items to the current closed agenda for this evening's closed meeting. Nine, conduct collective bargaining negotiations or consider matters that relate to the negotiations. And 15, discuss cybersecurity if the public body determines that public discussion would constitute a risk to one, security assessments or deployments relating to information resources technology, two, network security information, or three, deployments or implementation of security, personnel, critical infrastructure, or security devices. Second. Okay. So a motion was moved by Ms. Causey and seconded by Ms. Mack. Um, point of order, uh, excuse me, um, point of um, information, um, Mr. Uh, Mercedes. Um, as I understand it, this will be on the May 18th agenda item uh, for us to discuss. So is it appropriate to add it at this time? Uh, th the motion is properly before the board. Okay, so I will receive Ms. Causey move that the board add the following items to the current closed agenda for the evening's closed session. Nine, conduct collective bargaining negotiations uh, or consider matters that relate to the negotiations. And 15, discuss cybersecurity if the public body determines that public discussion would constitute a risk to one, security assessments or, or deployments relating to information, resources, technology, to network security, information or deployments or implementation of security, personnel, critical infrastructure, or security devices. And that was seconded by who? Ms. Mack. Okay, and it was seconded by Ms. Mack. Okay. And it looks like um, there is a question uh, to the motion, Mr. Mahomza. Yes, I'd like to know if um, the appropriate staff members or individuals who can uh, present this information right here in the meeting. Um, as I understand it, they are not, and that that these items are actually scheduled to be discussed on May 18th. 
Um, so then I'm assuming it would take a while before these individuals can even be present here. And I'm, the individual I'm thinking about is the attorney the board had hired to negotiate with the ransomware. Correct. And as I understand it, he's not here to be present. Yes. Mr. Duke, Mr. Duke is here. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Ms. Cross, you'd like to speak to your motion? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I am <clears throat> only able to say a few things about this uh, because there is a reason that the Open Meetings Act allows us to discuss them in closed, uh, but there is an update on a pending issue with the ransomware attack that was supposed to be brought to the board uh, as well for discussing information that has been presented um, in a one-way direction to the board uh, and also to discuss the status and impacts of the TABCO work to rule on our mission to provide equitable and excellent education to our students. Um, and uh, we have heard um, consistent concerns around the technology and I think it's appropriate uh, that the board take this opportunity to address it. Thank you. Ms. Jose, you have a question? Thank you, Ms. Scott. My question is, um, this is being added to the May 18th meeting, correct? As I understand it, yes. Okay, right. so yeah. why couldn't it just be requested to the superintendent to add it to the instead of a motion? I, I'm failing to understand, but Nonetheless, if it's for the May 18th meeting, it's kind of a moot point. Thank you, Ms. Jones. So next, we have Mr. Kuhn. Mr. Kuhn. Uh, thank you. Um, my understanding from uh, Ms. Causey's motion is that at the very minimum, we'll get an update as the to the status of the items that she's requesting. So I'll support this motion. I honestly don't think it will take a significant amount of time. Thank you. Yes, it looks like, uh, okay, do we have another? It looks like there's a question from Ms. Mack. I just finished going through my email I, and there was a lot of them, but did, do we have access to the May 18th agenda? It doesn't look like it's been made public yet or we don't have access yet. Yeah, we haven't had our agenda planning meeting yet, so no, we don't we don't have that um, available right now. Okay, so in the interest of time, we do need to move on and vote on this. Uh, Ms. Causey, you said you have an answer? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, again, I'm limited in what I'm able to say, but I think that this <clears throat> these are uh, mission critical issues and uh, receiving one way uh, information is very helpful and I appreciate what's uh, uh, been recently um, sent. However, that is not uh, the board discussing it. And also it may be helpful to uh, set um, some parameters for that meeting on the 18th so that that can be the most uh, productive and efficient. Okay, so let's um, move this to a vote, please. Uh, Ms. Causey's motion on um, Ms. Gover, if we could take a roll call vote, please. Ms. Rao? Yes. Ms. Causey? Yes. Ms. Mack? Yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Jose? No. Ms. Hen? Yes. Mr. Mahomsa? Abstain. Mr. Offerman? Abstain. Ms. Pasteur? Abstain. Mr. Kuhn? Yes. Dr. Hager? Um, yes. Ms. Scott? No. Favor is seven. Okay, so that is added to our closed session um, agenda. Okay, and then now um, may we have a roll call vote for us to go into closed session, please, Ms. Gover? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's hard to hear you, Ms. Gover. Ms. Mack? Thank you, yes. Mr. McMillian? Yes. Ms. Jose? Yes. Ms. Hen? Yes. Mr. Mahomsa? Yes. Mr. Offerman? Yes. Ms. Pasteur? Yes. Mr. Kuhn? Yes. Dr. Hager? Yes. Ms. Scott? Yes. Thank you. Thank you.